Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Inverness. Something very different for you today. Once upon a time there used to be three football teams here in Inverness and they all played in the Scottish Highland League. One was called Inverness Caledonian, one was called Inverness Thistle and they merged in August 1994. The Scottish League had expanded, there were two spaces, one was filled by Ross County, the other one by the newly formed Inverness Caledonian Thistle. I always thought that was a long name for a football team. Imagine the, the poor newsreader on a Saturday afternoon. Here are the classified results. Inverness, Caledonian Thistle nil, St Mirren six. For example, it's a long, long name. So in 2001, they had a poll amongst their supporters to see if they wanted to change the name to Inverness City, because after all, Inverness had just been granted city status. And something like 72% of fans said, no, we want to hold on to the Caledonian and Thistle name, which is fair enough. Now I did mention there were three teams, the other one is Inverness Clachna Cudden and they still play in the Highland League and that is a brilliant name and it's one of my favourite names in Scotland along with Drum the Drochet, Tom the Hurich, Ochter Machti and everyone's favourite Echel Fechen. In fact I should go there and film a video one day. Anyway they're playing today against Nairn County. When I first thought about this uh, video three, four, five months ago I thought hopefully it'll be a top of the table clash for you guys hasn't quite worked out that way. Nairn County are kind of uh, languishing mid-table and Clack and Cudden are 16th out of 18 teams. I'm not sure how much the tickets will cost at this game. I'm estimating about eight pounds. But just for a laugh, last night I looked to see how much a ticket would cost at a home game for Manchester City, one extreme to the other. Single tickets start from, start from 55 pounds. Or eight pounds if you're watching Inverness Clack and Cudden. Now, to be honest, I'd rather watch one of the smaller teams anyway. I, I think they're more value for money. And you're thinking, well, that's why you support St Mirren if you like small teams. Ha ha. So we're going to head off to Grant Street Park. That's where they play. I should point out that um, they play in a white shirt. And I brought my white hat with me because A, I want to blend in with the, uh, the locals. And B, it's absolutely freezing here. I believe Nairn are playing in a yellow shirt. But it should be a good game. I was looking at both teams' performances recently and Nairn have only lost one of their last five games. Clack and Cudden have only won one of their last five games. So I think Nairn are the informed team. I'm going to make a prediction here of a 1-1 draw or maybe 2-1 to Nairn. I'm also going to make another prediction. I'll be at the pie stand at half time. I'll see you when we get to the ground. I hope I can buy a ticket on the day. Do you think it's going to be a capacity crowd, a sellout? Nah, I don't think so. The admission fee was £10, and that's the rain on. Wonder! With Clack and obviously not spurred on by my presence, I decided to go to the pie shop and avoid the half-time rush. And before I know it, Nairn County scores a second goal. Imagine my disappointment when I discovered the pie shop had run out of pies. <coughs> Plan B, sausage rolls. <laughs> I 
I decided to stand down by the Clachnacudden goal line because that's where most of the action seemed to be. Clachnacudden seemed to be justifying their 16th position in the league. One of the disadvantages of standing at this end of the field was the language from some of the fans. I pitied the poor people living in that house. One miss kick actually bounced off their roof. Well, the final score was 2 0 to Nairn County. But before I go home, while I'm in Inverness, I have to do something. A friend has asked me to get something while I'm here, and I can't let her down. In case you're interested, this is the Clachnacudden, the stone of the tub. It's located outside Inverness Town Hall. The stone was originally located closer to the River Ness. This flat, smooth stone was a location where the women of the town were wont in ancient days to rest their water pails in passing to and from the river, and was thus a focal point for socialising and exchanging news and gossip. And so what was my big project while in Inverness? To get an Inverness fridge magnet. Well guys, I've waited many, many years to see Inverness Clachnacudden in action. Was it worth the wait? Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along with me on this little adventure to Inverness. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Please subscribe, because it only encourages me. 
and I'll see you next time.